I'm going to create a class called car. And it should get an initialization routine, so I'm going to define one now. And it's a uh, pretty standard. Double two underscores, double underscore. And in that, followed by two underscores, one, two. And then I always, we always have to put in self, and then the name of the variables you're going to pass to it, or they'll get caught in these variables. Uh, I'm going to pass one, just name. Done colon. Now I'm going to do the following. I'm going to take name and assign it to self dot name. Self dot name equals name. So whatever guy I just passed the car when I got in, when I instantiated some variable, when I instantiated the class into a variable, that's going to get caught here. I'm going to take that name, like Mustang, and assign it to self dot name so that any other methods that I define within the class car, they'll be able to access this guy. All right. So now I'm going to define another method. It'll be a uh, an instance method. I'm going to pass it self. And I'm just going to return that variable up above that I can now reference self.name. And that's it. Now, when I instantiate the uh, car class into some variable, uh, that uh, variable would be referred to as an object variable. And I can run this method off of that object variable. So let's do it. So C is equal to car. And I'm going to pass it Mustang. Boom, it's done. What is C? C is a car object. Wow. Well, as a car object, I should be able to call that method on right off of C. So let's do it. C dot name. And I hit enter. I should get back the name that I passed at instantiation time. I should get back Mustang. Here we go. Oh, there it goes. There she goes. And that's it for now. This is George Paul. Please rate and share this video, and good luck.